everyone and welcome back to the Disney Bartender. Today we are making Pink Elephants on Parade. So, of course, Pink Elephants on Parade, we are inspired by Dumbo this week. It is our fourth animated feature that we are going to be doing, and I'm really, really excited for this one. I love Dumbo so much. Elephants are my favorite animal, and so Dumbo has always held a special place in my heart, and I think that the movie is just so sweet and sentimental, and I'm really excited to share this drink with you guys. It's one of my favorites I've created so far, and I can't wait to dive into it. I'm gonna tell you the recipe, or not the recipe, but the ingredients we'll be needing, and then I'm gonna tell you some fun facts about Dumbo as well as the alcohol we're going to be using and then we'll go ahead and jump into making the drink itself. But basically for this video I was trying to think what to do with Dumbo because you know the story takes place in America, it's a traveling circus and I wasn't sure like if I should do something American inspired or I don't know something blue or something you know in the colors of Dumbo and then I thought you know it's a circus so let's recreate one of the most iconic circus snacks which is the elephant ear. If you don't know what an elephant ear is, because I'm shocked, I asked so many people, like when I was getting inspiration for how to make this recipe, I was asking people and nobody knew what an elephant ear is. But an elephant ear is essentially a funnel cake, but it's like flat and I'll put a picture of it so you can see what it looks like. I really wanted to recreate the taste of an elephant ear, but in a cocktail. And so voila, the Pink Elephants on Parade cocktail was born. So basically what you're gonna need for this recipe is Smirnoff vanilla vodka. You can use any kind of vanilla vodka to be honest, but this was the smallest bottle I could find. You're also gonna need rum chata. Um, also, I bought the smallest bottle I could find just because I'm going to be using this for this video. Um, and then we are going to be using a blood orange for the drink. You can also use like a nectarine or a tangerine. I would recommend something a little more on the tart side rather than like a sweet orange because these two liquors are very, very sweet as it is. So we're kind of trying to cut the sweetness a little bit with the citrus. And then for garnish, you're going to need some cotton candy. I prefer pink just because it's called the Pink Elephants on Parade, but I could only find a mixed container, so it's pink and blue, which is fine because Dumbo's blue, so that's perfect. And circus peanuts, which are perfect for this concoction. I also have some skewers to stick the garnishes on, and I'm going to be using a shaker. I have my little um, shot pourer. And then I have a martini glass for what we're gonna be pouring the actual cocktail into. So anyway guys, let's talk about Dumbo. So Dumbo was released on October 23rd, 1941, and it was 64 minutes long, making it the shortest Disney animated feature at that time. The budget was 950,000, and it brought in a box office of 1.3 million. It was directed by Ben Sharpstein, Norman Ferguson, Wilfred Jackson, Bill Roberts, Jack Kinney, Samuel Armstrong, and the story was by Otto Englander, Joe Grant, and Dick Humor, a lot of people that we've heard of in our past videos. It was based on the book Dumbo the Flying Elephant by Helen Aberson and Harold Pearl. It was produced by Walt Disney and it was starring Edward Brophy, Verna Felton, Cliff Edwards, Herman Bing, Sterling Holloway, Margaret Wright, and Hall Johnson Choir. And the music was by Frank Churchill and Oliver Wallace. Um, so as we talked about in our past couple of videos, Fantasia and Pinocchio were not very financially successful because of World War II. Dumbo was released during World War II as well. And because they were trying to recover financially from the hardships of Fantasia and Pinocchio, Walt specifically wanted Dumbo to be very short and very cheap, which is exactly what they made. A 64 minute long movie with a box up, or a budget of $950,000. And because of this cheap budget, they um, used watercolor techniques so that their backgrounds would be easier and quicker to make and a lot of the animators recall talking to Walt and specifically being rushed to produce this film. Dick Humor and Joe Grant wrote the script in the form of chapters like a book which I found really really interesting and in the book there's only a few differences between the book and the movie. In the book Timothy Mouse was actually not a mouse he was a robin and I think his name was Red. Yes Robin his name was Red. There also was no pink elephant spray sequence and they also changed the name of Dumbo's mom from Miss Ella to Jumbo, 
so I think that's pretty cute. <laughs> the watercolor backgrounds that were used to create this movie were also used to create Snow White and Seven Dwarfs as well as Lilo and Stitch, which I think is really cute. <laughs> My favorite, favorite fact about this movie is that on May 29th, 1941, production was actually halted for the day because the animators went on strike because they wanted to make more money. This was actually directly um, influential of the scene in the movie with the clowns asking for the circus leaders uh, a raise. And actually the clowns in this sequence are actually um, caricatures or silhouettes of the actual animators that had protested for the day, which I can see both sides of because of course they're gonna wanna raise and I'm sure they, they wanted to respectfully protest and get their wages up but I do think it's kind of cool that they added them into the movie. I think that's really a neat tidbit. It was the most financially successful Disney movie of the 1940s. It won an Academy Award for the best scoring of a musical picture. So that's Dumbo, and now let's talk about our liquors that we're gonna be using. So first off is rum chata. It's a cream liqueur, which was created with rum, cream, cinnamon, and vanilla. It's The rum is from the Caribbean, and the cream is from Wisconsin, and they say they source their spices from all over the world to create this unique blend. It's very cinnamony and delicious if you've never had rum chata before. And then we have Smirnoff Vanilla Vodka. So the Smirnoff Vodka Makers, all the way, they date all the way back to 1864, with the Smirnov distillery in um, Moscow from 1864, like I said. And then the Smirnov brand later on down the row, it's kind of debatable, but they claim that they created the Moscow Mule. So that's pretty neat. That was created in the 1940s, they state 1941. But as I looked up more information, it seems that there's a lot of debate about who actually created the Moscow Mule. So I don't know, but I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, now that we've talked about some fun facts, Let's go ahead and jump into making this cocktail. So for this cocktail, like I said, we're gonna be using a shaker. So you can use whatever shaker you have available, but you're gonna wanna fill the shaker with ice. All right, now that our shaker is filled with ice, this is like literally the easiest recipe ever. You're gonna take your rum chata and it's going to be two ounces of rum chata. A martini is standard uh, three ounces. So we're pretty much following a martini recipe because we're gonna be using two ounces of the rum chata with one ounce of the Smirnoff vanilla vodka. Pour that in. And then we're going to be using a half of a blood orange. I like the blood orange specifically because it is super red inside. I'll show you guys if you've never seen a blood orange. This is what it looks like, and I feel like the red adds a little bit of pink to the drink, which is cool for pink elephants on parade. So I'm going to squeeze the whole half of the orange in there. You can do this to taste. If you want it a little more sour, you can add some more orange. If you want it sweeter, then I would say don't add as much orange, because the orange definitely helps to uh, balance the sweetness of the other two liquors and liqueurs that we're using. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Don't be afraid if the rum chata starts to curdle a little bit sometimes it does that with the citric acid from the orange it doesn't mean it's bad or expired it's just how alcohol works sometimes anyway we are going to shake this super vigorously for like 30 seconds and pour it into our martini glass okay it's taking forever to come out Okay, the next step I actually have not tested out yet, so we're gonna kind of learn together. But we're gonna put on our garnishes with the pink cotton candy and the circus peanuts. Like I said, you can use whatever color cotton candy that you want to, but I think pink looks cool because it's called the pink elephants on parade. I'm just gonna use skewers, but if you have toothpicks, that'll work totally fine too. And I'm gonna try to gather up mostly pink cotton candy. I'm trying not to touch it too much because I don't want it to look super like a ball. I want it to look kind of like natural cotton candy. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it through and skewer some peanuts on the end. If you're gonna be serving this to guests, I would highly recommend you tell them first that it has a toothpick in it so they don't take a bite of the cotton candy and find a wild surprise. All right, and we're gonna stick that in. And ta-da, we have the pink elephants on parade. <laughs> No, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a picture because the cotton candy is melting too quick. My gosh, it looks so cool. 
Well, everyone, thank you so much for making this delicious cocktail creation with me. I hope that you enjoy. If you like sweet cocktails, this is the cocktail for you. I can guarantee that it will taste like a funnel cake slash an elephant ear. If you enjoy those, you will enjoy this cocktail. And if you like a little more sweetness, you know, don't be afraid to let that cotton candy hang out in there for a little bit. Mine is kind of disintegrating as we speak, but I hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful week and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more of the Disney bartender and more Disney Orlando videos and I'll see you real soon. Cheers!